And now, uh, Mine going in for another drop, and it looks like he's going to lose. I don't know if Mine knows about that, that extra base down there. And Shine is going to chase him off with his own drop ships because often you'll see um, if a drop goes down, the other Terran will then drop all over that drop um, because it's the units get quickly surrounded, and especially if any of the tanks are sieged, then uh, the, those tanks become neutralized because the, the units around them quickly kill them and they're going to be not uh, within range because siege tanks can only obviously fire things at things that are at least uh, an inch or so away from them on the map. Uh, in any case, have to give the advantage to um, uh, Mind here. Uh, both players um, keeping economically about the same. They're both building extra command centers in the corners and, and that sort of thing. But um, Mind has been able to harass uh, Shine's economy a lot, so Shine's going to have several less SCVs than Mine has, um, and it looks like Mine has more forces on the ground as well, and Mine is going in trying to put up a siege outside of Shine's main base here, um, Shine putting up tanks outside on his ridge trying to hold that off, um, but he clearly doesn't have the same amount of troops uh, on the ground. Mine is going to be able to contain him for at least, for at least a moment here. Um, and Mind is going in. He's dropping all over the front door. Shine has those tanks up on the ridge, though. And Mind did not drop tank drop anything up there. He's going to be able to spot with those dropships, though. Mind has a lot of tanks. Shine coming in. This is his last chance. He's going to succeed a lot with this drop. Tanks go off. All sorts of crap explodes. And Shine's forces look like they're going down. Mind has too many forces on the ground. Shine's forces are just wiped out. Uh, but it looks like at least... Most of Mind's forces are wiped out as well in that last that last little bit of dropping. So uh, Mind is barely forced back. If Mind had had uh, a few more tanks or if he placed them differently, I think he would have taken that, that battle and taken the game. Mind quickly reinforcing. Shine taking this advantage. Uh, Shine really needed to win that battle, and he did, uh, luckily for him. Using this advantage to push out, um, he's going to have to do some damage back. Although Mind is going in. If Mind drops and Shine's troops are out, uh, out in the field... This could be very, very disastrous. Shine, Shine pushing up against Mine's front door, and Mine is bringing his forces back. He doesn't want to lose his main either, so Mine is bringing his forces back to defend his own base. Um, a decently smart move, although I think he probably should have been able to hold out and just drop uh, Shine's main or something like that and destroyed his his uh, his core. That would have made for a more interesting game, at least, with both players just kind of destroying each other's bases. I always love games like that. Uh, in any case. Again, both players, one player expands, the other expands. Uh, I, so one of them just had CompSat. I forgot, I didn't see which one it was. I think it was Mind actually had CompSat. Um, oftentimes in these Terran versus Terran games, uh, detection gets kind of overlooked. Oh, both Terran's dropships meeting in the middle. Mind has a few more dropships than, than Shine does. Shine has forces on the ground, though, at least to, to counteract just not all of them are. Oh, Mind's forces flying over his glance! Oh, it almost looked like some of those uh, dropships were going to get taken out. Uh, everyone dropping all over everyone else. Uh, Mind looks like has a few more forces on the ground. Shine's dropships. Uh, Sh Shine did not have very many forces in those dropships, or he was not accompanied by the ones he had on the ground. Mind definitely wins this this battle there. Mind has a significant advantage now because Shine has, I think he may have even lost a dropship, and, and those four Goliaths and those two tanks on the ground are all that, that Shine has at this point, I believe. He's producing a few more, but Mind has enough to stay on the ground, and he has goes those three dropships he can fly around, and there is no way that, that uh, Shine can cover his back and his front at the same time. This secondary is going to go down completely. All those SCVs die. Those Goliaths are going to destroy that command center very soon. Mind making a Shine making a desperate attempt to, to hold that off, picking up all his forces in his dropships, and it looks like he's not going to defend that base. He's going for a counterattack. You can see on the minimap... Uh, Shine's dropships are actually heading up north. He's going to go for either uh, Mine's secondary. It looks like he just commsatted one of those secondaries. So he's going to be dropping and trying to basically equalize by destroying um, one of Shine's bases. He, he probably knew that he didn't have the forces necessary to actually hold back all those Goliaths because they were all Goliaths. So if those dropships came in, um, the probably one or two dropships would get destroyed. Mine going in, trying to drop on, on Shine's main... But uh, he does have turrets and Goliath there, so he's able to hold off most of that drop. Um, and actually, it looks like uh, Mind, um, excuse me, Shine may have taken an advantage in that in that series of battles because now he has destroyed destroyed one of uh, Mind's secondary bases, 
and uh, he left a Goliath behind that has picked off all the SCVs and basically if, if neutralized another one of his bases. So it looks like Mind has a base in the top left corner now, but that is all that he has other than his, his natural secondary. Um, whereas um, Mind has, well, I guess Mind actually has Shine, excuse me, has the same amount of bases. Another battle going on here. More Goliaths going in. Uh, somehow those Goliaths kill off the tanks uh, pretty effectively. Um, by the way, we're, we're seeing here um, the uh, the upgrades. Uh, Shine has not upgraded his units, and uh, we can uh, can see that uh, Mind has upgraded. He's got one uh, armor and one weapons. That can make a very big difference in this kind of a game, uh, especially with units such as these, where where one upgrade uh, equals you know three or seven or what three damage. I think in the case of Goliath missiles, or no, in the case of the the. Cannons. I don't know the numbers, but basically it's it's a significant number. It's not just like one damage like on a marine. Um, uh, it looked like uh, apparently Mind was able to hold off. Mind dropping forces all over those siege tanks. Those siege tanks are going to go down. Um, the Goliaths, however, are still there to back them up. More Goliaths coming in for Mind, though. Mind is able to hold off from those tanks that, uh, that Shine dropped on him, and he's going to be able to keep that base after all at the uh, 1 o'clock position. I, he left a Goliath there before, and I thought that was going to be able to clean up that base, but he was able to hold it off after all, and he still retains that base. So it looks like uh, it's hard to tell if uh, Shine has taken that base again in the bottom left. It, 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 here we have his first person view. You can see that we, he has not. Looks like he's just starting to build another command center to float over there, but... Uh, um, he is behind economically. He doesn't even know, uh, it, it looks like, about the base in the top left corner. So that's kind of uh, drastic as well. Um, Mine moving in. He sees that uh, Shine has a bunch of forces on his front. Uh, it looks like he's going to try and drop instead. Again, it looks like Shine just does not have the forces on the ground at this point. Uh, Mind keeping an advantage. Mind going in and dropping on his main. Mine setting up siege. He has glass. He's gonna look, lose a dropship. It looks like, but he doesn't mind that very much because now he has forces inside of Shine's main. He's bringing in more forces. It looks like dropping in more forces. This does not look good for Shine. I think Shine is going to go out of this game very soon. There are tanks in there, and he does not have the forces necessary on the ground. He does not have. He's trying to desperately trying to make another drop, but those SCVs alone will be able to hold off that attack. That is just ridiculous. One dropship dropping in there. Meanwhile, his main base is getting absolutely destroyed. He's gonna have to GG here in a minute. I I'm sorry to say it. Um, it there's no way that he can come back from this. He's lifting off his factories. He's not producing uh, very many more units. Uh, all of his he basically only has one base mining right now. Shine has one base, his secondary base, which is mining, and that is it. And he realizes another factory goes down. He doesn't have any intake. He realizes that is all there is for him. So that's got to feel pretty bad for Shine. Losing once again, hoping to regain his honor in the rematch and not able to obtain it. GG for Mind. No uh, shame in losing to Huesen. Mind is going to move on to the MSL. Um, anxious to see how he does uh, in the rest of the tournament. Alright, thanks for listening. GG.